Okay, welcome to Statistics DSRT 734 class. This is our last unit for the course, which is a non-parametric test. So in this unit, we will go through different types of non-parametric tests. And in this lectures, we will start with the sign test. Again, this is our last chapter or the unit for the course. And it's non-parametric test. So our main objective is to use the sign test to test the population media. Also use the pair sample sign test to test the difference between two population medias, dependent samples. So we start with what is a non-parametric test. A non-parametric test is a hypothesis test that does not require any specific conditions concerning the shape of the population or the value of any population parameters. So the, all the previous tests we did is a parametric test because we consider the shape of the population and distribution such as a normal distribution or we consider the parameters, the population parameters such as the mean or media, standard deviation, sample, etc. In a non-parametric test, we are not going to consider the shape of the population or even any population parameters. So it's generally easier to perform than a parametric test. And again, most of the tests we did from child square t-test, analysis of variance, and over, they are all parametric tests. So usually less efficient than parametric tests, uh, which actually is true because since non-parametric tests doesn't consider the shape of the population distribution, and it doesn't consider any of the population parameters, and the result we are going to get will be less efficient when we compare with parametric tests, where again, we consider the population parameters. We have a condition that the distribution of the population have to be binomial or have to be normal distribution, etc. So here we said that the stronger evidence is required to reject the new hypothesis. That's if we are doing parametric tests. So we start with our main non-parametric test in this unit lectures, which is the sign test. So a sign test for a population media, uh, you can see that here we didn't say a sign test for population mean. Mean is a parameter. parameter. Uh, mode also we can consider mode based on counting. So sign test, we say a non-parametric test that can be used to test a population media against hypothesized value k. So again, we can use non-parametric tests, name sign tests, to test a population media against hypothesized value k. So we have the left tail test. In a left tail test, we say the null hypothesis, which is HO, the media should be greater than or equal to K. Then the alternative hypothesis, HA, the media will be less than K. Now, if we are doing right tail test, then the null hypothesis, HO, the media will be less than or equal to K. And alternative hypothesis, the media will be greater than K. That's for right tail the media is greater than K. Then if we are, we are doing the two tail tests, the media is equal to K for null hypothesis and for no, an alternative hypothesis HA, the media is not equal to K. So to use the sign test, each entry is compared with the hypothesized media K. Again, to use the sign test, each entry is compared with the hypothesized media K. If the entry is below the media, then we have a negative sign is a sign. So again, to use the sign test, each entry 
is always compared with the hypothesized median K. Now, if the entry is below the median, then a negative sign is assigned. Now, if the entry is above the median, then it's a positive sign is assigned. Now, if the entry is equal to the media, then with zero is assigned. So those are the three options. Now, compare the number of positives we have and also the negative signs. We have to compare the number of positive and negative signs. So the test statistics for sign tests. Here we say that when the sample size is less than or equal to 25. If the sample size is less than or equal to 25, then the test statistics X for the sign test is the smaller number of positive or negative signs. It's the smaller number of positive or negative. So if there's more positive, then we use the negative signs. Now, when n is greater than 25, then we are going to use the formula. So when n is greater than 25, we say the test statistics for the sign test is z equal to x plus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 n over square root of n divided by 2. Again, n is our uh, sample size. So one more time, the test statistics for sign test we check when n is less than or equal to 25, when n is less than or equal to 25, the test statistics x for the sign test is the smaller number of positive or negative signs. It's the smaller number of positive or negative signs. When n is greater than 25, then we find a z value and we use the form s plus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 times n over square root of n divided by two. Here we say where x is the number is the smaller number of positive or negative sign, and n is the sample size, which is the total of positive or negative signs. So if n is less than or equal to twenty five, then the test statistic should be the x value. But when n is greater than twenty five, then it will be s plus zero point five minus. 0 0.5 n divided by square root of n over 2. Again, x is the smaller number of positive or negative signs, and n is the sample size. Sample size will be the total of the positive and negative signs. So performing a sign test for population media in words and also in symbols, again, this is hypothesis testing for non-parametric sign tests. First, we state the claim, identify the null and also the alternative hypothesis. So we state our HO and HA. Second step, we specify the level of significance. We specify the level of significance. So here we identify the alpha level of significance. Then we determine the sample size N by assigning plus signs and also negative signs to the sample data. So n will be the total number of plus and negative signs. Then step four, we determine the critical value. So we say that, okay, if n is less than or equal to 25, then we use our table eight. When, if n is greater than or greater than 25, then we use the standard normal table, the Z table, table four. So again, here we have two options, depends on the sample size. And if, if, when the sample size also is less than or equal to 25, then test statistics will be X. We use X. X is the, total, the smallest of the, so here calculate the test statistics. If N is less than or equal to 25, use X. If N is greater than 25, then use the formula here. then we make a decision to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. The most important is this section also determine the critical value. So this, we can see that 
the hypothesis testing steps are the same. State HO and HA, get your alpha value or the level of significance, then we need to calculate our critical value. Here, we don't need degree of freedom because we are not using child score T table or, or F table. But first thing we do, we determine the sample size and by assigning plus or minus signs to the, set, the sample size. Then to determine the critical value, we either use the table eight or table four, or again, standard normal table. And first we need to find the N. N again is like the sample size. So the total of number of plus and minus signs. So let's see the example here. Hopefully this example will, will help us understand the concept. So you're using the sign test. Uh, a bank manager claims that the media number, again, that's the key. Sign test is used to test the media, population media. So the claim here is the media number of customers per day is no more than 750. A teller doubts the accuracy of this claim. And we have the number of bank customers per day for 16 randomly selected days are listed below. At alpha equal to 0 0.05, can the teller reject the bank manager's claim? So here we randomly select 16 days, values, uh, 16 day for uh, randomly days as listed below. That's the number of customers per day. For example, first day we have 775, second, 765, et cetera. So again, one more time. Here, yeah, bank manager want to claim that the median number of customers per day is no more than 750. No, no, no more than 750. But a uh, teller doubt the accuracy of this claim. So the number of bank customer per day for 16 randomly selected days are listed below. The teller decided to randomly select 16 days, the number of customer for each day. With the alpha of 0 0.05, we want to test this claim by the bank manager that the median number of customer per day is no more than 750. So first we state our HO, since we say it's no more than 750, we say the media is less than or equal to 750. Then HA will go against it, which means it's greater than 750. Then we compare each data entry with the hypothesized media 750. So this is our hypothesized media. Remember, we have to get the plus and minus. So 775 is greater than 750. We got one plus. 765 is greater two plus. So we keep going. So this is what we have. So the way where we have zero is when the 750 equal to 750. So the, the mean or the media is the same as the hypothesized media 750. So we have all the plus minus here because 742 is less than 750. Minus here because 739 is less than 750. And also minus here, 745 is less than 750. Otherwise, the rest of the values are greater than 750. I said one value is 750, that's why we have zero here. So now we're going to count. We saw that there are three negative signs and 12 positive signs. We normally don't count the zero. So we can, we saw the steps. The N is the number of positive plus number of negative. So N will be 15. So with that, we know the alpha value also to be 0 0.05. So here, since n is 15 and n is less than or equal to 25, we have to use table 8, So which is our t table. So here we have 0 0.05 is here. And we need to find the n, and n is given. Uh, I think the end, let's go back. So n is 15. So we go to the 15 and we have 0 0.05, 15, 0 0.05. So the answer will be 3. 
So let's see, n is 15, 0 0.05, our critical value is three. So we do our test statistics. Uh, since again, n is less than or equal to 25, uh, s also is equal to three. We use a smaller number of plus or minus. Uh, minus have three, so s equal to three. Now, if it's greater than 25, then we have the formula to use to find the Z. We are going to find the Z value. So here we are going to, the decision is to reject HO. The reason why, because if we have a critical value, we will see that our critical value is three and our S value also is three. Our S value should be greater than three in order to, I mean, should be lesser than three in order to accept or fail to reject HO. So here we make our decision at 5% level of significance, the teller can reject the bank manager claim that the median number of customer per day is no more than 750. We can go through these steps one more time. Again, we are doing using the sign test, which is a non-parametric test. And here we want to test a claim that a bank manage, manager said. Also the sign test we use to test our media, our media values, population media. So a bank manager claims that the median number of customer per day is no more than 750. A teller doubts the accuracy of this claim, and we said that the number of bank customer per day is 16 of for 16 randomly selected days are listed below. So we have this 16 days for each day number of customers. The bank manager claimed that the media is 750. So the first thing we need is the hypothesis testing. The bank manager said either less than or equal to 750. So our HO is media is less than or equal to 750. Our alternative hypothesis then should be greater than 750. Then we compare each data entry with the hypothesized media, which is the 750 claim so that we get our positive and negative. Now, if any value is greater than 750, it's positive. If any value is less than 750, it's negative. If any value is the same as 750, then it's zero. So we came up with this. So 70, 775 greater than 750, positive. 765 greater than 750, positive. 801 greater than seven years, and then 742 greater than 750, no, so it's negative. Then we have 1750 equal to 750, so it's zero. Normally, we don't count the zero, so to find the value of lowercase n, it will be the sum of all the positive and all the negative, which is 15. So after finding this value, then we can go ahead and also, the alpha is given already, level of significance, 0 0.05. Then we can go ahead and find a critical value. Now, since the n is less than or equal to 25, we are going to use this table. So n is 15, we go to the 15 row, then alpha is uh, 0 0.05, so we go 0 0.05. So the critical value is three. Now, when we know the critical value, that will tell us uh, the value less than three should be accepted HO. If it's three or greater, we should reject HO. So now we're going to have our test statistics. But since N is less than or equal to 25, we are going to use S equal to three as our statistics because the condition said if N is less than or equal to 25, then we should use the smallest number for positive or negative signs. Positive was two of two big. Negative was three, so the smaller was three, so three. So since critical value is three, test statistics is three, we are going to reject HO. So let's try another example using the sign test again. Here we have a car dealership claims to give customers a media trading offer of at least $6,000. A random sample of one and three transaction revealed that 
the trade in offer for 60 automob automobiles was less than $6,000. And the trade in offer for 40 automobiles was more than $6,000. At alpha equal to 0 0.01, can you reject the dealership claim? So here we see our, again, this is a non parametric test, non parametric test, sign test. So we don't need to uh, have the condition of the population and distribution, whether it's normal and also any parameter, population parameters. And um, what we need here to test is the 6,000. Alpha is given. We need this alpha so that we can find the, again, the critical value. So all that we need to find is the lowercase n. Again, depends on the, the n. If n is less than or equal to 25, then we use the small x. Uh, small x means the smallest value of positive and negative count. If it's greater than we have to, to find a z value, then we use the standard table. So let's start. First, we start with the cream, H-O and H-A. We saw that the total is greater than $6,000. The media is greater than or equal to 6000 That means the alternative hypothesis will be less than 6000 Alpha is given to be 0 0.01. And now the critical value is N is greater than 25. N is greater than 25. So if that is the case, we go to our table. And if we go to our table, we look for the alpha. Alpha is 0, 0.0 in the table. And also the N. And this gives us negative 2.33. So, which means our rejection area will be here, the blue area, and our setted area will be the brown area. So, next we find the test statistics. Uh, since there are 60 signs and also 40 plus, n equal to 60 plus 40, which give me 100. And n is greater than 25. So, in this case, s will give me 40. And this X would not, you see the previous question, N was less than or equal to 25. So X value is the test that it is. Here, since N is greater than 25, we are going to find the Z. So the Z will be 40 plus, 40 is X, S plus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 times the N, N is 100 divided by square root of 100, which is square root of n, divided by two. Our answer is negative 1.9. So negative 1.9 means we are going to the brown area because negative 2.33 is here. So this means we fail to reject HO. So we are going to accept HO because it fell under the brown area. So we say at 1% level of significance, you cannot reject the dealership claim. So the dealership media greater than or equal to 6,000, we can't reject it, we cannot. Now we can see the two examples. The first example, n is less than or equal to 25. So the x value is the test that it is. In this case, n is greater than 25. So we need to find a z. Here we don't need to find, a, uh, if n is less than or equal to 25, we don't need to find a z. We use a different table and X will be our test. S is the smaller value among the positive and negative. Here we have 60 positive, 40 negative. So we use the 40. Also we have what we call the, the pair sample uh, sign test. So a paired sample sign test is normally used to test the difference between two population medians. So previously we tested only one population media, but a paired sample sign test can be used to test the difference between two population medias when the populations are not normally distributed. So here we say for the paired sample sign test to be used, the following must be true. First, the sample must be randomly selected from each population. Also, the samples must be dependent. They have to be paired. 
and also the difference between corresponding data entries is found and the sign of the difference is recorded. So in words, first we state our claim, identify the null and also add to alternative hypothesis, state HO and HA. Then step two, specify the level of significance, identify alpha. Then step three, determine the sample size N by finding the difference for each data pair. Assign a plus sign for a positive difference and a negative sign for negative difference. All zero for this no difference, the two values are the same. So, so far the steps are the same as the sign test. But we also determine the critical value. Then we find the test statistics, which is S is less than number of plus or minus signs. Then we make a decision to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. So in a paired sample sign test, we do not find the Z value. And also we are not concerned about the sample size, whether it's less than or equal to 25 or greater than 25. So let's see one example here. So here we see a psychologist claim that the number of repeat offenders will decrease if first time offenders complete a particular rehabilitation course. So you randomly select 10 prisons and recorded the number of repeat offenders during the two year period. Then after first time offenders complete the course, you record the number of repeat offenders at each prison for another two year period. So you can see that here we are going to use two samples, but these samples are dependent because the collection, we, and you record the number of repeat at each prison for another two years, the same prison. The results are shown in the next slides. At alpha equal to 0 0.025, can you support the psychologist's claim? So a psychologist's claim is that the number of repeat offenders will decrease if first time offenders complete a particular rehabilitation course. So this is the data. This data again, they are dependent because the same prison will collect 21, two years later, another 19. The same prison, 34 and 22, the same. So we have a pair, two samples from the same place, uh, I would say from the same population. Each prison will be a population. So let's solve this problem. First, we state our HO and HA. So in this question, the number of repeat offenders will not decrease, that's our HO. Then HA will be, it will decrease. So we find our sign values, which is right here because we can see 21, 19 positive, 34, uh, we have uh, positive, positive, negative, positive, positive, everything is positive. Before is greater than after. So determine the sign of the difference between the before and after data. So these are the signs. So this means we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine positive and one negative. So alpha is already given. And if that's the case, then N will give me one plus nine, which is 10. So if I know alpha and I know N, we can find a critical value, which will be N is the row, in this case is 10, alpha is 0 0.025. So our answer will be one. So the critical value is one. Now we need to find the test statistics. So S equal to one, the smaller number of plus or minus signs. So here we are going to again reject it. The critical value is the same as uh, the test that it is reject it. And if it's critical value also is still uh, greater than HO, we still also reject. So we already we all only accept HO when the critical value is uh, the test statistics is less than the critical value or the critical value is greater than the test statistics. 
but if the critical value is the same as the test that it takes, or the lesser than the test that it takes, test statistics, then again, we'll reject H1. So this will be the summary of our lectures. So in this lecture again, we went through the scientists, very important. Scientists are normally used to test the population media, and we saw the steps how to, again, solve it. The same scientists, again, we are doing hypothesis testing. So first thing, we still need to uh, claim our H and H A. And also, in scientists, most of the time, we test the media. We test the media. So we should know the concept of the plus or minus add together, we get the N. Then we find the critical value, the alpha always is given, the level of significance to be given. So uh, if it's not pair, if N is less than or equal to 25, then the set, test that it is the same as X. X is the smaller value of the positive, the count of positive and negative. And when we know the critical value and test that it is, then we can make our uh, decision whether to accept or reject H1. Normally, when the critical value is less than the test statistics, which means test statistics is greater than critical value, we reject H1. When test statistics is less than critical value, we accept H1. If they are equal, we still reject H1. So again, wish everybody the best, and this is our first uh, test in non-parametric test, which is called a sign test and non-parametric test. So again, wish you the best. Thank you. <laughs>